For me, the way Chichu approaches her readers is the way I want to approach the viewers or the readers when it comes to me creating a film or me writing poetry. Um, Chichu does not take a stance of authority. She is not guiding anyone. She is not saying, she's not imposing something. She has a conversation based upon equality and of mutual understanding. She treats the reader as an as a person of intelligence who does not need metaphors or hidden symbols in order for certain meaning to come across. The reason the book is difficult is because meaning is on the page. It's not hidden by anything. It's not clouded by obscurities. Um, and I feel like a lot of people, when they think about independent cinema, when they think about more complex works of art for them, they, they, they think it's something more complicated to understand because everything is clouded behind a certain mystical compilation of images or meanings or symbols, but the reality is is that it is very simple, it is very open, it's an open book. Um, and sometimes you don't need necessarily the intellectual level of comprehension of certain connections between ideas, that is certainly there, but what you need to understand more complicated works of art is that emotional connection, and that is what I strive to develop more. My eyes were closed, but I felt it. Flora whispered words of comfort and beauty and recited an Aruda love poem to me as she painted my face. She said the lines in Spanish and then translated. Smile at me, radiant, if my mouth wounds you. I'm not a gentle shepherd like the ones in fairy tales, but a good woodsman who shares with you earth, wind, and mountain thorns. Love me, you smile at me, help me to be good. Do not wound yourself in me, for it will be useless. Do not wound me because you wound yourself. The tears were here again, and she wiped them away quickly. We were woodsmen, and we did share earth, wind, and mountain thorns. She removed the plastic cover from the costume. It was stunning. It was a fluid rainbow, light and gossamer. She put it on me and then stood back to see how it looked. It fell all around me, and its gentle folds inspired and moved me. Ulfran came in and stopped for a moment. He came closer. His ocean waves carried me as he described the whole mood of the scene. She was the moon and the virgin. He was seduced by her myth and all its symbols.